Kevin is definitely getting better at flying. You're right. He hasn't fallen off his broom once today. Exactly. What about Crane, Daniel? Is she still talking to that group of fifth years? Yes. Did either of you find out anything else about what she's been up to? I asked Gathama to watch her, and he hasn't reported anything surprising. He does say she follows Professor Longbottom wherever he goes. I hate this. If we could just help Crane, she'd stop pestering the Professor. Maybe, but we still need to find the key. Don't worry, Ivy. No one's going to get hurt, I promise. Did you see that? Kevin did a full spin without throwing up. I'm so proud of him. We're going to practice with some Quidditch equipment now. Don't be that quaffle, will you? Sure, that sounds like fun. Here, catch! What's this? Quidditch practice? You don't mind if I examine your ball, do you? No, but it's just a quaffle, isn't it? Indeed it is, although it never hurts to check. Tell me, have any of you witnessed any unusual happenings on or around or above the Quidditch pitch? What do you mean by unusual? Out of the ordinary, uncommon, abnormal, atypical, unexpected, shall I go on? No, we haven't seen anything. Disappointing. Do keep an eye open for anything unusual. Preferably two eyes. Good day. Who do you think she was watching? Who else is flying today? It's mostly just been Kevin and me. And Elliot Evers, of course, but he's always training. He's so good. Oh, and Professor Longbottom stopped by as well. Just like Gossamer said. Maybe. Robin, I think Kevin has already found the Golden Snitch. What? The Snitch is still in our trunk. It wasn't our golden snitch. I know. I didn't see where the other snitch came from, but when he tried to catch it, he got smacked in the head by an errant bludger, which also wasn't ours. Came out of nowhere. My face hurts. Oh, you poor dear. I should take him to see Madame Pomfrey, but I don't see his broom. You're worried about his broom? It's a firebolt supreme! Take him to the hospital. We'll find the firebolt. Come on, Kev. I'll take care of you. What's that? 
It's a bludger. This must be what hit Kevin. Hmm, that's odd. I found the firebolt! What are you doing here? Sorry, we were just looking for this. Young witches and wizards should not venture into the forest alone. It is not safe. Uh, uh, we'll be going then, Mr. Um... My name is Bane. Come, I will show you the way. Here's the snitch. No, child, don't! Fancy it myself and Alright then, good luck. Unicorn! If we work together, we Alright everyone, we're in this together now. Swelling solution! Play with this chess? How do you feel? Tired and sore. What happened? You and Daniel were bitten. Madame Pomfrey says you didn't take on much venom, so you should be fine. She wants you to stay here tonight as a precaution. How did we escape? Did someone else show up to help? Elliot Evers. He arrived just in time. Elliot saw the whole thing from above and flew down to help. He saved us. Saved us? Or was spying on us? Daniel! Are you alright? Esme? What are you doing here? They told me you were hurt. What's happened? Can you walk? Do you need the nurse? I'm fine, really. It was just a few spiders. Wait, how did you even get here? They sent someone, a big fellow. What does that matter? What were you even doing in the Forbidden Forest? That was my fault. It was my bludger that knocked your friend out of the sky. So why did you throw it at Kevin in the first place? I didn't. That bludger is charmed to follow a particular golden snitch wherever it goes so I can practice alone. I lost the snitch in the sun and before I could find it again your friend had grabbed it. If it wasn't for him, I'm not sure we would have made it out alive. Thank you so much. I don't know what I would do if something happened to Daniel. He's all I've got left. I can take care of myself. 
No, you can't. You barely seem able to keep yourself alive, Daniel. Oh, what am I going to do with you? Elliot, may I have a word with you? In private? I don't trust him. He just showed up to save us, and now here he is, making friends with my sister. Relax, Daniel. Elliot is just trying to help. Now get some rest. You both need it. Uh, no. Mom, don't leave me! Uh, oh. Where am I? You're still in the hospital. You were dreaming again, about Mum and Dad. You need to let them go. They're criminals, remember? Not Mum. It wasn't her fault. It was an accident. Oh, Daniel, what am I going to do with you? I've tried so hard to take care of us, and you want to throw it all away fighting monsters and... and sticking up for them. I'm sorry, Esme. You mean everything to me. You're all I've got left, too. That's not true. You've got your friends. They care a lot about you. And Elliot seemed nice. Maybe you should be friends with him. Just because Elliot chased off a few spiders doesn't mean we have to be friends. Don't be so stubborn, Daniel. Elliot is a good wizard. You could learn a thing or two from him. That's why I asked him to keep an eye on you. So be nice. For me. Fine. If it means that much to you. Thank you. Now, you still need your rest and I need to get home. Be good, okay? Goodbye, Esme. That's where they found her. Crane claims she was attacked by not me, but it's obvious she was just snooping around Professor Longbottom's office. Maybe we should take a closer look at him too, just in case. But we know it's not Longbottom. We were there. And so was he. I'm not saying the Professor is a villain, just that it's possible he had something to do with it. Maybe he supports not me's message. Sharing magic with muggles isn't exactly dark wizard-worthy behavior. Maybe not, but it's still illegal. And all I'm saying is it's worth investigating. That's it. Hello, Daniel. Oh, it's you. Coming to check on me already? Esme's just worried about you. She thought you might benefit from some extra guidance. I'm doing just fine, thanks. Trust me, I can relate to getting into trouble. I've been to McGonagall's office plenty of times in seven years. Making friends in high places, it's all part of the game. What game? Life, of course. We're all playing, but some of us are better at it than others. Yeah, and most of the time it feels like everyone else cheats. That's because the game is rigged, my friend. It's just like Quidditch. If you want to win, sometimes you have to bend the rules. I don't think cheating is necessary to have a good life. Oh? Then perhaps you'd care to test that theory. Are you crazy? We're in the hospital. We'll get in trouble. It appears to me that we're alone, and I'll try to make it fast. Fancied myself. All right, everyone. We're in this together now. Thunderbird. Atmosphere charm. Incendio. Not good for me. 
Just another example. Was this a formal duel? No. I won. Nothing else matters. You see? There are shortcuts to everything. You just need to know where to look. And you must be strong, even if you're afraid. Do you think I defeated that Acromantula because I was afraid of it? No. I beat it because I was stronger. I'm not afraid! Fear is weakness, but it can also be motivation. Use it, feed off it, and your power will grow. That's how you protect your sister. Show everybody how strong you really are. Understand? Good. Now, come on, let's get you back to your dormitory. Filch has been skulking around here threatening everyone with detention, and you definitely don't want to run into him. Definitely not. <laughs> 